This is the intro to the part of the video that we want you to get excited about so you watch the rest of the video. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and click the like button as well. Comment below, because we'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store linked below for some cool custom designed t-shirts, like this Stranger String shirt, our Laundry Day shirt with picks pouring out of the washing machine is tried and true, and the bane of many a laundry partner's existence. So check those cool t-shirts out. Today, we do have two very cool guitars, pretty new guitars actually from Fender. Cooper is holding the new American Professional 2, or as I like to say, the American Professional also. And then this is the American Ultra, which we have had out since last December. Yeah. So it's not quite been a year since the Ultra came into our lives. Um, and we have loved this guitar. We did a great introduction and review on it. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to click on that link above our heads and you can check that out as well. Um, because I think these are very, very stellar and it brings an interesting point up. You know, these two guitars sit at the top of Fender's American line of electric guitars. So which one's better? Which one should you get? And really what separates them? And that's what we're here to talk about today. So you've got a Miami Blue one. Yeah, Miami Blue on the uh, Stratocaster over here from the American Professional Don two. Johnson Blue. Oh yeah. Um, and it's, you know, it's beautiful finish. We've used this one in a couple of our other uh, demos on the Pro 2s and we really like it. And, um, you know, if you haven't seen those videos, check them out as well um, up there. But just to kind of rerun through what's going on here, um, VMOD 2 as well, um, also pickups. <laughs> and, um, you know, this one has a maple fretboard. That one has a rosewood, which obviously we already, you know, we're clairvoyant about our comments over here at this point. Dramatically different. Um, yeah, so just know that we know that. You don't have to point it out to us. But um, they're, they're pretty standard in terms of strats go three single coils. Um, that one right there has the noiseless generation Four? Five, I five. think. Five. Generation five noiseless pickups. Generation 16. Yeah, um, 48, I think, actually. But um, they both have an S1 switch in different positions. Yeah, I mean, this one's an S1. That technically isn't. It's a, yeah. And there's a, that kind of speaks to a variety of the things that they're doing on this. They're, it's like similar, but different. It's like the same, but not. Yeah. You know? Um, but if I'm correct, do the switches do somewhat of the they same thing? They do the thing? exact same yeah, thing. Yeah, same thing. So this is a push-push knob down here on your uh, bridge tone knob. But what it does is it adds that neck pickup into your position one and two, which same thing. does it over here as it's well. It's just hidden. So S is stealth yeah. or scrumptious <laughs> or super horrific. Um, but the cool thing is they both have a, a carve on the heel. That one's obviously more dramatic. Um, I mean, that's the previous car from the Elites. Yeah. And this is the new super duper car. This is like someone started and then didn't stop. And then it ended up very cool. They yeah, they didn't stop until it was perfect. <laughs> um, and then on the neck here, it is a very soft um, ultra satin, I believe. Super natural. Super natural. Super natural. And ultra over there rolled frets, which mm -hmm. these are very rolled off as well, mm -hmm. um, which kind of leads to my opinion that the Pro 2 is a lot closer to the Ultra than the, the original Pro. It is, and yeah. I think that kind of makes sense. Um, but it's an interesting thing because when they did the first Pros, if it was following along the same lines, then the first professional models that replaced the American standards would have been in some ways closer to the elites. elites yeah. And yet they really weren't. They really honed closer to that very traditional recipe, which is, you know, we're going to update the, the nut with a bone nut and, um, you know, some of the hardware and the pickups and things like that. But it otherwise was very, very much like the traditional Strat. This is the first time that I've seen them you know, bring out the, really the flagship line. You could say that the Ultra is more expensive, but yeah. the American Professional series is the flagship line of the Fender catalog. This has more modern features. And so, you know, it still has 
the recipe that was put in place in 1954, which speaks to how good the design is and has stood the test of time, but with more modern you know, uh, attributes to it, like the rolled heel, I think that's probably the most modern. Um, the, the aspects to the, the neck, I don't, I mean, yes, the finish is a modern finish, but I think like the rolling of the fretboard and stuff is really just something that's kind of a higher end feature. It's something yeah. that you would typically see done in like the custom shop on a very vintage instrument, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure who would prefer a non rolled <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just we, You a want nice to have thing. sharp corners there. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, preferably not. Um, but, you know, it otherwise still sticks to that original recipe. So, like, this has the locking tuners. This does not. Yeah. Um, that did get a cold rolled steel block in the uh, bridge and the tremolo, which is really nice. Uh, the tellies have slightly different hardware. But all in all, it's, it's that original recipe with a few more modern improvements that, mm -hmm. like we talked about before, have trickled down from the Ultra Series. And, yeah, like you said, I mean... They've been doing carves on the back of the heels at least since the early 2000s, maybe even the late 90s with the deluxe models. But this was the first like real change. Um, and actually, I misspoke. I said that that was from the elites. The elites were the ones that kind of went to this, yeah. you know, carve. Those, that's what the deluxe had for years. Yeah. And it's really comfortable. So, you know, I think they've been continuing to refine this and went with this. Now let's thin it. Now let's carve it out some more. Um, you know, and then continue to do what they do with the pickups and trying to make them noiseless and, and whatnot. So both very, very fantastic guitars. I think both are a lot more modern of a Strat than pretty much anything else Fender makes. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, they feel modern, but keep all of the important things. It's very classic, which is kind of, I think, both of our preference in terms of, I don't know, we love all kinds of Strats, but when it comes to just getting... You kind of your if you're gonna get one and be done, you kind of want those classic Strat appointments. You don't want an HSH Strat. Um, I'd be down for an HM Strat. Well, there you go. Um, but it's also cool to talk about f uh, finishes as well. I mean, the American Pro Twos have some really cool finishes that won't be around. Yeah. By the way, just for everybody who's going to complain about the neck being rosewood versus maple, this honestly isn't available anymore. Uh, and we grabbed this for a reason. This is a Red Plasma Burst Ultra with an ash body. And if you've been watching the news, Fender has moved away from ash except on their most vintage reproduction models. And so there's some fallout from that. There's some changes. It's not the first time, by the way. Uh, Fender started out with ash and then went to alder and did some Karina and mahogany back in the 50s and other things. So we're actually going to be talking about in a video what this means for the rest of the lineup. So make sure that you have subscribed to this channel so that when that video comes out, uh, you see that. So, But also, if you love Plasma Red Burst and you aren't interested in hand painting yourself a roasted pine uh, American Pro 2 that is available on our website, if you want to go check it out, the uh, Ultra in the Plasma Red Burst, that uh, it's a pretty awesome guitar. They yeah. also have a, one Jazzmaster left in the Plasma yeah, Red Burst. Yeah, in this color. Yeah. So. Very, very cool. Yeah. Well, we're going to put them to the test, and despite the differences between the neck wood and the, uh, the bodies, uh, you're going to hear for yourself the differences between the pickups. Um, of course, you can't feel the differences between the normal radius and the compound radius and the D shape versus the deep C and you know the, all of that stuff, but they both feel great. It really just comes down to preference. And so does the sound. Do you prefer the normal, non-noiseless V-Mod 2? also uh, pickups or the, you know, the ultra noiseless 33 and a half generation pickups. So check it out.
All right, so there you have it. Two fantastic guitars, two great strats. I love just about any strat. Uh, but, you know, if you are going for something that is American made and very modern in its focus, you now have the Ultra, which I think is the most modern, and now the Pro 2 also's, uh, which are, you know, very traditional with a few modern things sprinkled on. Yeah. Modern, modern features. Fender's going like a little bit of modern sprinkled on there. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, it, it really comes down to preference. So here's the big thing. Here's the question. Compound radius, modern D, very comfortable. Now you've got deep C, mm -hmm. the typical nine and a half radius. You've got rolled edges, mm -hmm. you know, noiseless, not noiseless. We know you've got an ultra yes, jazz master. I do. I love it. So between these, which would you pick? Knowing that I have the Ultra Jazz Master, um, I would probably add an American Pro 2, just because I do have like the Ultra in a completely different sense, and I really enjoy that. It's my main, very favorite guitar now. But I think in terms of a Stratocaster, I really like the balance that they've struck on this one with the kind of classic features and the sprinkled features of the modern age. But you really can't go wrong with an Ultra either. I mean, I, I'd probably go back and forth. I do really like the American Pro 2. If you didn't have any of the guitars you have, which one would you get? I'd probably get a Telecaster. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think... Uh, that wasn't the answer no, to the question. I think, I think uh, I mean, you. For, for me, I would probably utilize the Ultra. Um, I really like the noiseless. I like all of the feels. I love that uh, contoured heel. But I would be just as satisfied with the American Pro also. You know, just that's the, the democratic answer right there. That's the diplomatic answer <laughs> I got. I would probably get this. Um, now, if I was putting it in context of the guitars I have, um, I have a very vintage, a modern vintage. Yeah. So I've got something that has the carved heel and a quilted top, but vintage style pickups that sound great and have plenty of hum. Um, and so in that context, I would probably get this, but even without that, I would probably get this first because I like the noises pickup aspect. Um, I like that, you know, you might be playing somewhere and they put you next to like the popcorn machine and it's okay. Your night's yeah. not ruined as a result of it. And so I think that's great. And these more so than past ones don't lose all the luster. There's something about that kind of high end bell, like chime magic yeah. that usually gets lost in, uh, in the noises pickups, and I think this generation so far has done the best at retaining that. Yeah. Um, that being said, I really do like the American Pros a lot. If it came down to price, I would just go with that bar none, and I think that's why they're several hundred dollars apart. Yeah. Um, and they are different buyers, but you know they are still enough modern in their own right that you have to not want a vintage Strat. Like, if you're looking yeah. for a vintage Strat, this is not the place to look. American Original or Vintera or something would be you know, more in line with that, uh, that sentiment. This is the Strat that is, that is, I think, what the Strat was to begin with and why it stood the test of time. It is form, it is function that dictates form. Yeah. You know, it's not form for the sake of form. They were not made simply to be fashionable. The ergonomic contoured bodies, the uh, just the entire versatility is what made the guitar look the way it does. And I think these continue to follow that initial recipe that was laid down by Leo Fender back in 54. Yeah. And I think that, you know, we talk about this one being a more uh, modern option. It's still not some crazy yeah. futuristic, you know, um, like super strat type. It's still of thing. a strat. It's very much a Stratocaster in, in all. Still twenty two frets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they're both great options. Maybe if you're if you have the vintage, and you're shooting for some modern stuff, you might as well go all the way and just push. This it will give just, you all those vintage tones. Yeah. But you know, with more versatility, a faster playing neck, that same thing. Yeah. More versatility. I love that they've added that. That just. This is like traditional with just that sprinkle of features. It's really cool. So yeah. It's great. Anyway, I'm right. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> the truth of the matter is, it really comes down to your taste and your preferences. But if you'd like information on either of these guitars, you can check out our website, alamomusic.com. You can chat live with one of our associates there, get help with any of the selections and questions that you may have about the various specs of all of the guitars that are available. At the end of the day, the best guitar, whether it's vintage or it's modern, is... The one that you're making music on right now. That's right. 
Why are you watching us? You should be playing guitar. Anyways, no, keep watching us. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you click subscribe. Turn on other, those notifications by clicking the bell and comment below. Tell us what you think of the Ultra, you know what we think, and the new Professional 2 also. Let us know uh, if you think there's a clear winner here, if Fender made this a little too modern. You know, we'd like to hear your thoughts because then we're going to tell Fender and then they're going to change their entire production procedure based upon what the internet thinks. I'm sure that's going to happen. So, as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Once again, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about the guitar, check out Alamo Music. Pat. Hey, everybody. I love guitar videos just like you do. But guess what? Alamo Music Center has another YouTube channel. You can check out all the piano and keyboard reviews that we have and see more of me. Cooper, do we have another one of those? He's fine. Thank you.